In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a simple three-dimensional scroll using a curved path. I've assumed you have some understanding of working in Blender. Other tutorials to help those that don't can be found in my playlists. Okay. Well the first thing I'm going to do is remove this cube so as you probably know you just press X on your keyboard then left click on delete. Now press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view then hold down shift followed by A and next to curve left click on path and roll your middle mouse so you get a good view of the straight path. Press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Now you've got these sort of vertex points on this path and there'll probably be five of them and we're interested in the two at each end. So what I'm going to do is press Alt followed by A to deselect everything and then B to bring up my box select and hold down my left mouse button and draw a box over this end so these, this part of the path is selected. Right click and then left click on subdivide. Open up the subdivide box by left clicking on the little arrow and this is where you may want to play around with your selection that you're going to make. I'm going to put quite a lot of cuts in here so in the box it says 1 I'm going to left click and type 5 0 I'm going to hold down Alt A to deselect everything again, and then B for box select, and again hold my left mouse button down and drag a box over this end. Right click and then left click subdivide, and again in the box here where it says 1, I'm going to type in 5, 0 and hit return. Deselect everything by holding down Alt followed by A what you want to do is select the very end point so it, as long as you hold your pointer away from the end sort of near it but just to the right say and left click that should select the end point if you're not sure just hold down shift and your middle mouse button drag it over drag your view over and just roll your middle mouse just to double check and roll your middle mouse here okay I'm going to recenter this so again shift plus middle mouse okay now the next thing you're going to want to do is change some settings up here so underneath rendering there's a little chain link and this will say pivot point left click on this and then left click active element under compositing there's a dot with a ring around it and this will say proportional editing left click on this so that is highlighted and then finally to the right there's the proportional editing fall off sort of squiggle left click on this sorry left click on this and then left click connected only so there's a tick in the box okay now if you press R for rotate roll your middle mouse so that the circle covers the subdivisions that you made. You can move your mouse to start creating a scroll. Now you can only go so far so if you want to, to uh, tidy this up more in fact you're gonna have to just change something now. So I'm, I'm gonna just left click and keep this set or this scroll here. And like we did before press B and draw a box over the whole lot and then rotate back until the line at the top sort of lines up then left click so we want to line this up reasonably well and again select the very end point if you want to tighten up this curve and press R again and rotate further I'm going to just move this over a bit. Then press B 
book select and then R rotate back and I think that will do you're looking to keep this tidy you can keep going but I wouldn't advise doing more than a few sort of uh, curves if you're going to do a more complicated one you need to use a whole path so for this I think that will do okay I'm going to press Alt A to deselect everything again and then select the very end here on the left and again press R for rotate and this time I'm going to rotate it this way so I'm going to just put in a very simple curve here I'm not going to go too mad I think I'll go with that press B for box select and then rotate back so I'm if you if you you find it difficult move your mouse away because it makes the rotation easier so it's further away and I think that will do so that's reasonably straight along this line here but what I'm, I'm going to do now is I'm going to press S with this selected and I'm going to scale this down a bit so we've got this sort of effect and I'm going to press G for grab and I'm going to move it in so you can see you can change this around so that will do there but obviously I need to tidy this up so I'll rotate this again by pressing R and as you can see the lines not perfectly straight so make sure you're still selected whichever end you're using and then you can literally zoom in as long as it was selected and you can press G for grab and you can move your mouse to line everything up and I'm just going to tweak this just a little bit and that will do ok I'll close this down so that's your scroll sort of made from a path press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode and then left click on object come on down to you get to the point where it says convert to and then left click mesh from curve meta surf text press tab on your keyboard again to go into edit mode and then one on your numbers pad to go into front view then press A to select everything now if you press E for extrude followed by Z or Z you should be able to extrude this upwards now I'm not going to go too much I'm not going to take it up a full box I'm going to take it up sort of about half so if you look on the top left hand side you'll see some numbers changing again you can do what you want with this but I'm going to make this about 0.5 and that will do press tab on your keyboard again to go into object mode then 7 on your numbers pad now you may not be able to see anything because you're looking on the end but if you come to the right of the box of your panel you'll see a little wrench this is your modifiers button left click on this then left click add modifier and then left click on solidify now I'm gonna take this up where it says thickness I'll just hold my left mouse button down and just drag this over until I get something that I'm happy with so that's saying 0 0.06 left click on apply and you should have something that looks like this hopefully that's sort of helped you understand a bit what you can do with um, paths and curves uh, they are sometimes easier to work with than trying to convert a shape or a, 
an object. I'm not going to go into rendering or how I uh, created the sort of textures on the curve that you saw at the beginning. As I said before, I assume you got a little bit of knowledge of working in Blender. So, as I usually say, hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.